Hello everybody, I am Red Wolf Player, and I'm here to talk to you about a little game called Overwatch. Maybe you heard about it. Came out in May of 2016. You can play it on PS4, Xbox One, or you know, of course, it's a first-person shooter, so you can play it on the PC if you want. Now, Overwatch is a massive game. So many people just love it. There are tournaments that give out, you know, thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it's it's a real huge thing. So my question today, where does it rank for me? Where does it rank on my list? Now keep in mind, I'm not somebody who plays a lot of multiplayer games. I used to play them a lot more when I was in college, but you know, ever since I got out of college, I kind of fell out of it a little bit. And so I really want to take a deep dive. I want to look at three aspects of the game that we're going to get into, and I want to see where this ranks on my list. Now I do want to say, uh, there's not really any spoilers, it's a multiplayer game, but I guess if you don't want to see how any of the characters or maps or anything look for a game that's been out for two years, then uh, I guess there will be a link in the description to the end. Uh, it's a little more useless in this video than others, but whatever, I gotta throw it in there. So, with all of that being said, let's start looking at it. The main appeal to Overwatch is its wide variety of characters or heroes that you can play as. Something unique to this game that you don't see much in any first person shooter is that each character has a full suite of unique abilities and weapons they can use in the game. In some shooters I've played, I've only seen maybe 4 or 5 different classes, and if none of them fit for me, I'm pretty much out of luck and I wouldn't want to play it, but you know, as of September 2018, you have 28 heroes you can play as in Overwatch, and there's definitely more possible in the future. This makes it really easy for somebody like me to be able to jump in the game and you know, I was able to mess around with a few characters until I found one that really fit best for me. Personally, my number one that I like playing as is Lucio, uh, and that's because I just I enjoy being a support and enjoy being a healer. Uh, and the way his abilities and his weapons kind of work towards that is really just preferred for me. I told about my thoughts on kind of every hero, and you know, maybe I'll do a write up of that in the future. But for now, uh, you know, this whole category of heroes is going to come out to 110 points. Now I do want to touch a bit on the maps in this game as, you know, it's a very important part to multiplayer games, right, is the maps. Now depending on the mode type, you can actually get a few different maps. And so a lot of other games, you have, you know, maybe 10 maps and you can play any game mode on any of them, but Overwatch is different because they're designing each map for that game type. And so, you know, instead of trying to be an one-size-fits-all type of arena, it's something that's specifically tailored towards your goal and I think you know that really lets the designers put in these neat little tweaks to each level where you know hey this wouldn't be useful to have for this game type but it might be more useful for that and so we're gonna put it in that level with that game type kinda of things like that uh, you know the other thing that I really like about the maps is that some of them actually kind of represent a location one of the heroes is from I think that adds some extra flavor to the game and the background of these characters and of these maps. Overall, I think the maps are pretty cool, so I just want to, you know, throw them 37 points. To me, the third most important thing in a multiplayer first person shooter is what different modes do I have to choose from. In Overwatch, almost every single game mode involves two teams against each other trying to accomplish a goal. For example, maybe you're trying to capture points before the opponents, kind of like a capture the flag style. Maybe you're trying to escort items from one spot to another on the map while the opposing team tries to stop you. There really is a wide variety of the game modes, and you know where you see this the best is in the arcade area of Overwatch. Here, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, you're able to play, at one point, you could play soccer using uh, one character at another point. You know, right now you're able to play on a new map that just came out recently, and they have a special area for that. You're able to do 1v1 deathmatch, and it's, it's really cool because the arcade changes things up every once in a while. You're not, it, it's not the same thing all the time, and so, you know, I love how varied the game modes can be. I'm able to usually kind of pick and choose what I want to play around with, and so because of that, I want to give gameplay modes 41 points. Alright, so let's total this thing up. Alright, so we had heroes, 110 points, just all oh, the heroes in this game, there's just something about it, it's, it's uh, just go back and watch what I said before, but we have maps at 37 points, we have gameplay modes at 41 points, and all together, that actually brings us to 188 points, that's 
for somebody who's not into multiplayer games that much, that's higher than I expected it to be when I when I thought about this before I started, but I went through and I started doing my math and I started just thinking about what I really think about these, you know, three topics I covered and this is where we're at. I really do actually enjoy this game quite a bit. Uh, you know, it's a little bit below Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, but it's also a little above Detroit Become Human. And I think that's a really good spot for this game. Um, you know, I, I really enjoy all three of those games that I just listed, but you know, they're not going to be my favorite games of all time or anything like that. Now, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to catch more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll put that in the description. I'll also put a couple of my past videos. I'll uh, throw some links to those in the description as well. Otherwise, like I said, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching.